going live in three, two, one. Good morning, Panthers, and welcome back to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben. And I'm Kayla Humphrey, bringing Charter's latest to you. Middle school and high school SJ will be selling Panther face masks, $10 each. You can purchase them in the school store or in my school box. Freshman class will be hosting an escape room after school today. You can buy your tickets on my school box. The sophomore class will be selling Chick-fil-A after school on Fridays. You could get six nuggets and a can of soda for $5 each. Don't forget to go donate to CSCS Blood Drive on February 26th at 7.30 a.m. You can sign up on oneblood.org. The dues for the club NHS are due. Please make sure to pay them. It's $25 if you don't have a shirt and $20 if you do. Hey Panthers, welcome back to another episode of CSPN. Today we're going to see how the varsity tennis team is going and how their season is starting off. Hi, my name is Ella. I'm in 11th grade and I stay fit by playing tennis once a week. Hi, my name is Junie. I'm in 9th grade and our goal this year is to make it to states. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of CSPN. See you next time, Panthers. Thanks for giving us a tennis and baseball recap. Now we're going to be taking a look at National Love Your Pet Day. Hey Panthers, in honor of tomorrow being National Love Your Pet Day, let's take a look at some of our students and staff, furry and non-furry friends. She's not coming at her. A little. Pets can help us in many ways by reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. Pets can improve mental health by providing a valuable companionship for older and younger adults. They can help manage your blood pressure. Pets add a real joy and unconditional love for the rest of your life. Playing with a pet can elevate levels of serotonin and dopamine, which calm and relax you. You can also give them some extra yummy special treats. They can ease loneliness, encourage exercise and playfulness. This is a great way to connect with others and can improve a child's overall immune system as well as reduce allergies. Thanks for watching and make sure to love your pets a little extra tomorrow. Always make sure to love and care for your pets. Now we're gonna be taking a look at this month's black historical figure. Hey Panthers, for this week to celebrate Black History Month, we're going to be talking about Shirley Chisholm. Born in Brooklyn, New York on November 30th, 1924, Chisholm was the oldest of four daughters to immigrant parents, Charles St. Hill, a factory worker from Guyana, and Ruby St. Hill, a seamstress from Barbados. She graduated from Brooklyn Girls High in 1942 and from Brooklyn College in 1946, where she won prize on the debate team. In 1964, Chisholm ran for and became the second African-American in the New York State Legislator. Shirley Anita St. Hill Chisholm was the first African-American woman in Congress, 1968, and the first woman and African-American to seek the nomination for President of the United States from one of the two major political parties. Chiswell retired from Congress in 1983. She taught at Mount Holyoke College and co-founded the National Political Congress of Black Women. In 1991, she moved to Florida and later declined the nomination to become U.S. Ambassador to Jamaica due to ill health. Chiswell died on January 1, 2005. Shirley Chisholm was determined and a hard worker. Shirley Chisholm, we thank you. Thank you guys for educating us on another amazing historical figure. Up next, we're going to be looking into a new smoothie planet that opened up. Hey Panthers, there's an exciting new smoothie place that opened up in Coral Springs called Planet Smoothie. Planet Smoothie is the third largest American chain of smoothie stores serving smoothies. The company was founded in 1995 by Martin Sprock in Atlanta, Georgia, and currently operates more than 100 locations. The Coral Springs location is on Wild Road next to the Healy Magoos and Royal Eagle Plaza. 
Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm the GM here at Planet Smoothie in Coral Springs. I'm also a GM in another Planet Smoothie in Pinecrest. We have more to offer than just great tasting smoothies. We have acai bowls, we have muffins, cookies, chips, protein snacks. We also have yogurt bowls. So if you're a first time buyer, something I really recommend is a strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, and orange sherbet smoothie. It's really refreshing and it's called a Vinnie Del Rocco. We have a couple more. So we have one that is um, strawberry, banana, and yogurt, the twig and berry. It's an all time favorite and it's really simple, great tasting smoothie. Planet Smoothie is staying COVID safe by enforcing social distancing. Customers have to wear masks. If not, we provide masks to them. We wear gloves at all times. We sanitize any countertop, anything that customers touch every single hour. We're trying to keep it really clean and we have no problem enforcing any other rules that the CDC recommends to us. I'll definitely be taking a visit. Now we're gonna be taking a look at Expression Week from BSU. What is up Panthers? How are y'all doing on this lovely, lovely Friday? In honor of Black History Month, next week from the 22nd to the 26th is Expression Week, hosted by our very own Black Student Union. Each day of Expression Week has its own theme and it encourages students to freely express themselves. With me today are a few of BSU's officers who will provide further detail on what each day of Expression Week has in store for us all. Hi, my name is Kayla Humphrey and I am the Vice President of BSU. We're going to start off on Monday with Motivational Monday, where we can inspire and motivate students in any way possible, whether they motivate themselves or motivate each other. The theme is I am because we are, and we'll be watching a breaking through video and recommending different things. We also would like to write motivational quotes for each other on sticky notes and make sure to inspire each and every one of our classmates. Topic Tuesday is basically just talking about the Rosewood Massacre and how we're going to spread this to other students is just spreading the awareness and the unspoken history of the Fallen. There are many different ways in which students express themselves and this is why we have Writers Wednesday in which students can express themselves through writing. The people that will be featured are people like Langston Hughes and their own students that would just like to contribute anything writing or speaking wise that can motivate others. Turn Up Thursday is where everybody basically gets to wear their own shirt that's either representing an HBCU or just representing an aspect of black culture. And we just all come together and just share the meaning behind the shirt and just spreading the message to others. And on Fun Friday, we just want you guys to let loose with your creativity and have fun. You can show motivation or support for all of your students and classmates in any way that you think fit. We also have the virtual gallery that is due on Friday. Throughout the week, you guys can submit pieces. We currently don't have any, and we would really appreciate having any pieces that expresses yourself or express your thoughts or motivates others. Thank you so much, Kayla and Salon, for telling us about Expression Week. I know I'm very excited to see what this week has in store, and I'm pretty sure our fellow Panthers are as well. Don't forget guys to turn in your submissions for the art gallery. And it's not just art. If you have a poem, if you want to sing, if you want to dance, you can turn all of those stuff in too. Also, it's not just for high schoolers, middle schoolers. You can turn in stuff as well. Teachers. Don't know about y'all, but go ahead anyway. Also, please don't forget to follow at CSCS.BSU on Instagram because they will be posting stuff on their Instagram as well. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and a really awesome weekend. My name is Endebra, signing off. Make sure to check it out and join if you guys are interested. Up next, we're going to be looking into SGA's Love Others Week. Hey Panthers, last week SGA hosted Love Others Week, so let's take a look at what went on. Throughout the week, students and teachers were able to purchase candy grams and send delightful DMs to someone in the school. They also had the opportunity to send virtual cards with positive messages to kids at St. Jude's Hospital. On Tuesday, we were orange to support teen dating violence awareness. On Wednesday, students logged into Zoom and watched Disney's movie, Soul, a heartwarming movie about a man who realizes his true purpose and value in life. And on Friday, students and staff had a Valentine's dress-up day to get in the spirit of love. 
They were able to wear jeans and a pink, red, or white shirt. We hope you enjoyed the events and activities for Love Others Week. See you next time, Panthers. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben. And I'm Kayla Humphrey, bringing Charter's latest to you. Bye. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you.